Okay guys, um, today I'm going to try to show you a video on how to set your throttle endpoints. You know, when you're working with the Super X, you calibrate the sticks. However, your ESC or your speed controller, it needs to be calibrated too. So it knows what throttle position is what, okay? So here's what happens if you don't calibrate. Let me turn this on here. Now we only have one uh, ESC hooked up, okay? Now I have six ESCs, but what I've done is... I've unplugged it from the flight controller and I've gone directly to the throttle on the transmitter on the receiver actually so I can control the motor okay so watch what happens when I bring the throttle up okay nothing's going nothing 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 you see I'm like quarter stick nothing nothing and then finally it kicks in at about a third stick and then I'm full throttle before I even get to the top and this, the reason is is there's no endpoints been set Okay, now this flight controller is set up to have fixed endpoints in the programming. Okay, I'm sorry, the uh, ESC has been set up with fixed endpoints. What that means is I have to tell the speed controller what exactly the endpoints are so it knows that full throttle is full throttle and off is off. Okay, and then I can go in and hook it to my flight controller and calibrate it. So one of the first things you want to do is you want to go into your list. on This is a 9303, okay? And you want to make sure that your uh, D and R is, is set at full and linear, okay? And um, you also want to make sure that if you have any curves, that it's linear, okay? You don't want any kind of input on that, okay? Now, to get to the endpoints for the throttle, you have to go into adjustments here. So we're going to go to um, travel adjustment. This is, again, it's a 9303. Okay, and then now we see we have throttle. Now when you move this, it's going to it's gonna adjust the motor. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to unplug your motor, or your actually your ESC that you're going to program, and you want to go in and adjust. You see if we go up stick, it's to the high, and we go to the bottom stick, it's low, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go in and adjust these endpoints to the lowest um, adjustment possible on your radio. On my radio, it happens to be zero. So I'm going to go to the high stick, and I'm going to adjust zero. Okay. So now the throttle is completely zeroed out, and I will plug in the battery. Now... With that plugged in, I'm going to go to my high stick, which I've already got it set to, and I'm going to start rolling it up. Now, this is a Castle Creations Phoenix I-75. Yours may be different, but setting your end point will be similar. Okay, so we're going to go to the high point. We're going to adjust it until we hear it give us a confirmation. And then we're going to go two clicks past that. Okay, it gave us the adjustment, so we'll go two clicks, and it says, okay, we're good to go there. We'll pull to our low stick, and it gave us a confirmation beep, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to roll up until we get the confirmation beep, and then we'll go two clicks past. The reason why you go two clicks past is you know for sure that you are uh, at 100%. There it is. Now I'll go two clicks past, and we're good to go there. So now, since it's armed, when I do my throttle, it should give me a lot better response than before. So there's off stick. It's starting to, you know, soft start. That's the way I have it set up. So I barely got it spinning. Now when I come to half throttle, it's at half throttle. And when I go full throttle, it's all the way up. So that's how you map your endpoints. On your throttle see my throttle was really mushy and I couldn't figure it out so I did some homework and I realized that hey I gotta map the endpoints to the speed controller so that's it now I'll go in and calibrate my stick positions to my flight controller which means I'll unplug my ESC from the transmitter or from the receiver and plug it back into the flight controller and then go into the Super X and do the calibration on the stick center stick and high right so that's it I want to thank you all for watching take care